We are here today to dis discuss bioabsorbable stents and permanent stents. My name is Stephen Trulove. I am here with Kyle Champion and Maggie Webster, and we are here for Clemson University ME3440 Cardiovascular Biomechanics. We're going to have a real good heart-to-heart -heart discussion about it. So first we'll go into the purpose of stents. So over time, fatty plaque deposits in coronary arteries causes narrowing of the artery and that decreases blood flow to the heart. This causes chronic chest pain and highly increases the chances of a heart attack. A percutaneous coronary intervention or angioplasty is performed to open up the narrowed artery. In this operation, a stent is placed over the catheter and goes through the vein to the site of the blockage. The catheter is then inflated so that the stent is locked in place and forms a scaffold. This pushes the plaque out of the way. This in-place stent reduces the chances of the vessel re-narrowing or restenosis. At the moment, the most tested and widely available stents are bare metal stents as well as drug eluting stents. If these stents are ineffective or break, further surgery is required to remove these stents or place one on top of the other, posing even greater risk, such as perforation of the blood vessel, hemorrhaging, and causing an increased risk of mortality. Following stent placement, there's also a high risk of stent thrombosis, which is a sudden clotting at the site of the stent immediately after placement. This risk diminishes over time, however. In order to prevent this, blood thinners are prescribed indefinitely and pose an even greater risk to the patient's health. So what are bioabsorbable stents? By name, bioabsorbable stents are stents manufactured with materials that degrade over time and can be safely absorbed into the body. Materials being tested at the moment are metals, polymers, as well as collagen. Uh, the resorption rate is largely influenced by the base material used as well as the flow patterns at the stent site. Bioabsorbable stents are a great alternative to permanent stents. They provide enough scaffolding to allow the blood flow to continue at a normal rate and the flexible material allows the vessels to contract naturally without causing any swelling, which can also help with the delivery as it won't scratch the insides of the vessel. One of the main issues with metallic permanent stents is that MRIs cannot be taken, but a bioabsorbable stent will not affect this test. If another stent needs to be added or a surgical repair needs to be done, the previously inserted bioabsorbable stent will already be dissolved and allow the procedure to take place uninterrupted. These bioabsorbable stents are still fairly new, especially compared to metallic permanent stents. There are a few disadvantages of these stents because they are so new. Because of the nature of the absorbable material, they tend not to be as ductile as metallic stents. If they are inserted near a bend like a hip or a knee, they could overdeform to the point of fracture. It has limitations on how much it can be expanded before the scaffolding gives out. To keep the stent rigid enough to deal with the stress of the vessel, they have thicker and wider scaffolding, which makes them harder to implant. So, in conclusion, bioabsorbable stents will allow the vessel to move more naturally and allow the patients to have future imaging and surgeries done, as well as not be on medication long term. While there are a few cases where permanent stents are needed, bioabsorbable stents are definitely a promising development in the medical field. Here are our sources for the images, and that is it for today. Thank you.